My intention is to give everybody a copy, which will um, it'll keep you from having to take notes. I think that's really important. Ooh, but I don't want this transcribed in real time because it's super distracting. So let's see if I can stop transcription. There we go. So if everybody's OK with this being recorded and shared for you, I got a yes from Ann. That's awesome. Um, I got thumbs up from everybody. If you're not OK with this being recorded, then um, or, or you don't want to be recorded, you can bounce and I will send it to you because I want you guys to have it. So everybody's here that handles our legalese. Um, I want to begin by saying welcome. I'm so I'm like crazy excited to have you guys here and I, it's, many of you guys have trained with me and know me. We've got some newbies here in the room. I, I'm st I was feeling a little bit like Ted Kaczynski this morning. I don't know if you guys knew Ted because he was the Unabomber. He was a guy who lived in a cabin in the woods and went kind of crazy for the last. I have not gotten a really good night's sleep in the last probably 90 days because my brain is firing in a way it has never in my entire life all around this transformation that we are sharing in and and the fact that you guys are here is incredible i have been training studying playing exploring uh, watching every conceivable video i can get on this and we are literally <laughs> Here's how I want to explain what's happening. I live, uh, my our ranch is right under the Vandenberg flight path. And so we get spaceship launches all the time. And the way we know there's a spaceship launch is it feels like an earthquake. And so depending on what time of day it is, it feels like an earthquake, I step outside. And what I want you to think about conceptually, because this is really, really important. By the time I feel the vibration of the sonic boom, the rocket ship is gone. It's not here. So when I walk out, I know where to look. I understand the trajectory. So in the context of AI, chat GPT and this transformation. It's already happened. It's not like it, I mean, we in, in, in since since November 30th, when chat GPT was released in one month, it had 100 million users. And to give you some perspective, it took Facebook four years to get to 100 million. I think it took TikTok nine months to get to 100 million. So so this the age of AI is here. It is incredibly exciting. There are some scary aspects to it. Things are going to change no matter what. A lot of people are afraid of change. I have always loved change. I embrace change. Change thrills me. So what I want to do today is I want to kind of go big picture with you guys and ask or have you ask some thoughts, share some ideas and let's kind of wrap our heads around what's happening and what I'm doing for my clients and my friends, which I have quite a few of them here today. 9Q as a company, our job is to elevate the human experience. We teach people uh, and we certify people in energetic intelligence. What is energetic intelligence? In physics, energy is capacity to work. We teach people how to harness every aspect of every aspect, every resource of who they, their companies are to maximize their experiences. So that's kind of what we're all about and, and why I'm doing this. What I'm doing for my clients, my friends, you guys and myself is there's there's a long game. And when I say long game nowadays, long game is 12 months out, 18 months out. What is the world going to look like? We need to understand the long game and then there's the short game. What's happening today and how can I use what's happening to create the most fun and the most impact for myself and everybody around me? So that's that's the kind of big picture in our training today. My intention and I shared it and if we go back to the chat, which you guys all have. Um, where, where is it? So I'm just going to read this and I and I'm going to I had chat GPT help me 
And my intention is to empower and transform new ChatGPT users with the potential of AI and provide you with practical knowledge and tools needed to unleash your creativity and achieve your goals. So that's why we're here. In addition to that, in, in 90 minutes, I want every single one of you to walk away with at least three things you can do immediately to harness this tool. But more importantly, I want to ignite a desire in you to do more, to learn more. And, and I know you guys probably have that or you wouldn't be here with me today. So that's what it's about. Big picture. We... I, I was watching a conversation, a, com a conversation between two brilliant individuals. Both of them are in their mid thirties. They have both built and sold companies for more than a billion dollars. So these are very, very smart individuals. And it was a long form conversation. And they are very much like me in the sense of, it's so exciting, it's so overwhelming, and, and what does it mean? What does it mean for the future, and what does it mean for the past? And one of the things one of the gentlemen said, and, and I've thought about this for years, how is it possible that one person, individual, or organization can have a thousand X impact over another? And so let's think about just intelligence. The way we determine a person's intelligence is we, is we use IQ testing. And a person that is considered learning disabled has an IQ of 70 or below. A genius is someone that has an IQ of 140 and above. So the, the differential, there's just a 2X differential between learning disabled and genius. Einstein's IQ was somewhere around 165 the highest IQ ever tested is 205. So I've spent a lot of my adult life asking myself, how is it that one person can only earn 20 cents an hour and another person, Jeff Bezos, is earning $3 million an hour? How can there be that level of disparity? How can one person look at the world and really want to drive change and have no impact, and yet we have a Martin Luther King or we have a Mother Teresa who come into the world and create global shifts and changes? So here's the first idea I want to share with you guys. At, at 9Q, we teach a hierarchy of human power. And it's based on an, an ancient elemental model of earth, water, fire, wind, and void. Our earth element is our physical quotient. It's my, my physical strength, vitality, how much can I lift, how much can I move? My next highest quotient is my intelligence quotient. It's how well can I access and apply information? That's the definition of knowledge or, or IQ intelligence. My next highest quotient is my emotional quotient. This is my capacity to manage my emotional state. It's really emotional intelligence. Manage my emotional state and support the emotional states of people around me. There was a great article that came out last year by Harvard where they studied the most effective leaders and teams on earth and they were looking for the differentiator and what they discovered was it was an education background or experience or even resources it was what they called the energy effect, positive relational energy. So that's our EQ. SQ is what we call your service or spiritual quotient. This is the wind element. It's a recognition that all human beings are connected. And, and the more I can impact people and elevate people through my gifts, the greater my reach, my range, my life experience, my income, and all these different things. So... If you understand this evolution of human possibility, you can understand how one person can have a thousand or a ten thousand x greater impact than another. So a question we always ask ourselves is, why does the school teacher who provides so much value to her students or his students only make seventy thousand a year and the professional athlete make a hundred million a year? 
Well, if you understand the concept of SQ or spiritual or service quotient, as amazing as that school teacher is, they only have the capacity to impact 30 people. Whereas Tom Brady is impacting hundreds of millions of people. So that's the playing field that we're gonna share this concept or, or construct around AI, because it's really, really important because a lot of people are terrified. And what are they afraid of? For the last, and, and, and this is a concept I really want you guys to think about because it's critical, I believe, to all of our futures. Pre-industrial age, in order to thrive, I was either an agrarian or I was a craftsman. So I was a farmer, I grew crops, or I was a craftsperson and I made pottery, uh, sewed, seamstress. Um, but I, I was very, very gifted with either using my body to create food or using my body and my body and intellect to create things. And so it was a very slow moving time, but there was also a lot of joy in it. I had the satisfaction of raising my crops. I had the satisfaction of making a beautiful piece of furniture. I had the satisfaction of being engaged in the process of total creation. So the industrial age comes along and a lot of people describe it as the age where humanity lost its soul. And really think about what, you know, Henry Ford changed the world, but the craftsperson went from being in charge of their destiny and connected to what they created to being a cog in a wheel. So the seamstress became a button sewer and the fine artisan wood maker became a knob creator. And so the last hundred years, a lot of people have described work as being soulless. And there's been a lot of pain and a lot of frustration around what it is to be employed. Think about it. If, if you ask someone what hump day is, everyone can tell you. Hump day is Wednesday, right? I've almost made it through the slog of the week. And then there's TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. I've made it, I've survived, now I get to party, rest, celebrate, do whatever, and go back and slog again. So here's the really, really, really good news. AI properly leveraged, it's going to take over all the drudgery, all those boring, repetitive tasks that have sort of taken the soul out of us are going to be replaced by AI and robotics. Here's a challenge that we face. This is really, really big, and I want you guys to think about it. The vast majority of the population is currently engaged in some form of labor that is either physical or knowledge-based. And so here's kind of a truth bomb that I want to land with you guys. And think of that sonic boom analogy. If you are in a purely knowledge-based career, Start looking for another career. And, and I mean that literally. If you if you follow the trajectory of chat GPT, so, uh, and I'll share this with you guys later in an email. I've shared it with some of my team. So when chat GPT was released, chat GPT 3.5, it came out, I think on November 30th. Uh, it was passing bar exams. It was passing the SATs. It was passing, it, it had a college level of understanding and deployment in a massive number of disciplines. Here's the other thing you need to wrap your head around. You know, it was passing the bar exam while it was simultaneously passing an AP literature test, while simultaneously passing fluency exams in French, Japanese, German, Russian, and Hungarian, and Indian. Well, so in in November, when, when chat GBT 3.5 took the bar exam, it passed in the lower 10%. Jetty PT4 was released last week. It passed the bar exam in the upper 10% while simultaneously raising its test scores in all these other disciplines. So, so to put this into context, and this is where it gets exciting and a little bit scary. Uh, Albert Einstein with an IQ of 165 changed the world. They're projecting very quickly 
that AI will have an IQ a thousand times smarter than any human being in existence. And so just take a breath and sit with that. There is now a super brain that, I mean, chat GPT right now, even though it makes mistakes and we'll talk about that, some of its limitations, it's exponentially smarter than any of us. I, I have an IQ of 145. I've got my MBA. I had to, and I got my MBA recently. I don't know. I read a hundred books and I can assure you right now of the hundred books, if you were to test me on those, I'd fail a test. My recalls may be 10%. ChatGPT's recall is practically 100%. Its processing speed is exponentially faster. So we now have this super brain that every day is growing smarter and smarter and smarter. And we in our limited human minds can't even conceive. Here's where I want your mind stretching. My mind is not smart enough to conceive of the speed and impact of the growth and shifts and possibilities that are gonna happen. So this is the, this is the playing field that we're now in. Long term, what's it going to look like? It's going to be amazing. Fingers crossed. It's going to be the, the, the consensus. And then I want to open it up to have a little chat. Then we're going to get into the after training. But I want to kind of explode your brains a little bit. The consensus of every brilliant mind I have connected with and studied in the last 60 days is that the future of humanity is going to be in an augmented hybrid being. So kind of wrap that around your head for a second. What is an augmented a cyborg? We will be cyborg. So what what does that mean? And okay, so I'll be honest with you, a cyborg is is a biologically or structurally enhanced human. I have a titanium hip. I'm already a cyborg. There are people that are using pacemakers. I've got an aura ring which monitors every facet of my sleep, my REM, my my heart rate, my uh, my heart rate variability. Um, we are already becoming augmented, and so in order for us to thrive and survive moving forward, every thought leader in the field believes that in the very near future we will be augmented by AI. So that's kind of where we are right now. What I'd love to do for some fun now is let's open it up to thoughts, feelings, questions. Do you love this? Does it freak you out? You know, and 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 we got a small enough group. Um, who's got a thought, an idea, or a question you want to put out there? I think the answer is yes <laughs> to all of that. You know, it's very exciting and it is scary as shit at the same time, you know? What what's the scary part? Uh, just the, the not knowing down the road how huge this whole thing is going to be. You know how whole how how big the whole AI movement is, is going to be. I mean, it's already exploding now. You know, I just and in the rapid growth that ChatGPT has already had, I can only imagine what how how much further the rest of it's going to go. So Colin shared with me a, a great video a couple of days ago. Uh, it was a lecture given by a Stanford professor who I believe his specialty is teaching creativity around technology, which is super awesome. And his, what I love about, so here's here's what I want you guys to take away. And, and heartbreakingly, there are a whole bunch of people that are afraid of this. They're denying this and they want nothing to do with it. I, I have some friends, I have some clients that this is their paradigm. And to me, it's like there is this massive tidal wave. And right now it's 50 miles offshore and it's building and it's going to be like. And, and so either I learn how to surf this tidal wave or I'm going to be crushed by it. It's not a question of I can't stand there and deny the tidal wave, right? It's coming. It's It's not even coming. It's here. And in this video, what the professor said is he said our future and, and even using that word is scary let's say in the next five to ten years it's going to live in the realm of zero to one 
And I love this. It's such a core part of 9Q. What, so what is zero to one? Zero to one is the realm of creativity. And this is what humans are best at. And this is what we enjoy the most. It's not the drudgery. I mean, there is fun in execution, but it's that I, it's, it's the creative space. My dad grew up on a cattle ranch. He worked at Skunk Works and, and was part of the space program. And he was a very, uh, I know he was, he was a non-emotive person. He didn't cry a lot, didn't hug a lot. And I remember I was eight years old watching man land on the moon. And I remember two things vividly. I, I remember looking and seeing my dad crying. And he was so, he grew up on a cattle ranch in 1924. He had to ride a horse to school. And he was part of the effort that placed a man on the moon. That's what humanity is great at. That's our gift. And so with, with AI and this new tool, you know, if you're an accountant, it's not going to be about accessing information and writing, doing taxes for people because you have a limited capacity to do that. Can you create new avenues, new ways for people to leverage their financial opportunities? So zero to one, and, and this is where I want a lot of your time and energy and thought going, is how do we use AI, chat GPT, and these tools to get better at what we're doing, get better at execution, but it's really about what's next? What do you want to create zero to one? So, so that's that in, in our language, it's the void going into that um, realm of imagination and then coming down and declaring exactly what you want. And that's going to be the first real skill set I teach in terms of chat GPT. And that's going to be our sweet spot. So before we kind of jump into some tactical, practical stuff, Anybody have any other thoughts or questions? And, and you can share them in the chat. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, anything you're excited about, thrilled about, wondering about in the realm of AI? We've been playing with it for a, a couple of weeks now. And uh, I'm, I'm writing some SOPs. I've never even worked for a corporate company. And I'm writing SOPs that I've never read before for our company with the help of it. And it's just phenomenal that that I'm able to do that. So, you know, Colin, I, I know I know you guys are doing that, and and I love that. And and here's one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you guys to do. A lot of people that the people that are using ChatGPT are missing, I believe, missing the real value. So I, I've got a client that I'm working with and, and she has been given access to all of uh, Colorado for a new franchise program. And we were talking yesterday about the, the power of this tool. And she said to me, you know, what I'm most excited about is being able to leverage uh, AI to handle all my HR stuff. Because she, she had a, a big franchise group that she sold and retired now she's back. And I looked at her and I said, Oh my God, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. You know, HR stuff is fairly lower level, lower vibrational. You as the CEO of this company, you can sit down and have a strategic brainstorming meeting with Steve Jobs, uh, the, the dean of Wharton at Harvard, an MIT engineer, and you can use and leverage this almost infinite brain for high level strategic work. So that's one of the things I'm going to challenge you guys. It's really great at writing emails. It's really great at doing newsletters. It's really great at tactical stuff. But what I want you to really think about is how do I leverage it for the high level work? So what, what I'm going to do now is we're going to get to some practical examples um, and I'm going to, I'm going to share with you what I did with it just this morning. And then with, with love's permission, uh, I'm, we, she just bought a beautiful, unbelievable salon in Fresno and I want to do some real time work around what she's doing. So do we have your thumbs up? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> real quick, introduce yourself and say what you're doing with your company. Hi everyone. My name is love and I 
work in Fresno, California. Um, I currently am trying to get out of my job as an escrow officer at Chicago Title and do some bigger things. Um, I recently just purchased a hair salon, spa and boutique here in town. It's 9,000 square feet of amazingness, and we're going to do some great things there. <laughs> So she love is awesome. We've been training together for about a year. And so we're, we're going to have some fun with this. Um, but let me share with you guys. I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to show you what I did this morning. And, and there are some definite challenges working with ChatGPT because it will kind of it can take you down a rabbit hole and it can also get confused around execution. So I want to show you how I'm dealing with and addressing those things. So let's go into my computer and let's have some fun. Uh, so I'm going to start with this. Uh, ba -bum -ba. Is it doc? Can you get if you can you guys all see my screen? Just give me a, a shout out because I can't see anybody anymore. Yes, we can. OK, great. Uh, where's the document I was working on? Here we go. Thank you, marketing plan. So this is a, a 90 day marketing plan that everything on this page has been created since nine o'clock. Started work on this about nine o'clock this morning. So take a second, just you know, scan the 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 intention, and then I'm gonna share some other things with you guys. So, so this is what I mean by high level strategy. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. This is our value proposition starting at 9Q Solutions. And this value proposition has been dramatically elevated by ChatGPT as of yesterday. So now this is where it gets really fun. I had ChatGPT. So what I did is I primed I educated ChatGPT. I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And I asked it, the, these are <clears throat> nine, <clears throat> nine key benefits of what our company is going to do for you and your company. And just scan these. And, and I, I just kind of want your brain to explode because this was all created this morning. So we've got these key benefits. Now I'm going to go really fast. Here is our 90 day marketing plan, phase one, phase two, phase three. Now that's not even the good part. In each phase, there is an intention. And now I have a deployment calendar. So there is the intention. There are defined KPIs. There is a task list with due dates. Here's week two, KPIs, task list, due dates. Week three, week four. I've got this is a this is a 90 day detailed marketing plan that I created for our company today. So let me pop back to my team. Um, three months ago, I would have had to hire a company and I would have had to pay them between 10 and twenty five thousand dollars to do that for me. And a lot of the time and money would have been spent on having them do market research, having them understand who I am. So can you guys, I mean that, so so again, what I want you to understand is, yeah, there's these wild and great conversations about what's happening, but how am I using ChatGPT today to leverage and accelerate my business? Does that make sense you guys? Give me a nod because I'm back with you guys. Thumbs up. Okay, ready to go. Awesome. Now, what are what are some of the what are some of the the challenge? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, how did I do that? So here's what you have to do with ChatGPT. You have to, and this is going to take a little bit of time, but it's probably the most important time you will spend. So ChatGPT. Here's what I want you to understand. At your fingertips, you have 
an attorney, a CPA, a marketing expert, you have a linguist, you have a literature professor, you have an engineer, you have a coder, you have all of these super brains. They have only been educated up until 2021. So there's a limit to their knowledge base. Unless you, they know nothing about me, right? So let's go back to ChatGPT. Now, all of this, this, this really long conversation that ChatGPT and I had this morning um, happened because I trained it. So let me, let me see if I can get to the top. This is the secret sauce for leveraging ChatGPT. This is this is so much fun. So I want you guys to read this. This is how I seed and train ChatGPT. And I'm I'm going to put a cop. I'll I'll email this this seed prompt to you guys when we're done. So the next step, now the reason why I do this, can you only respond with this little signal here, is because anytime you give ChatGPT any feedback, it's going to try to start answering you, which is super annoying and a waste of time. So by giving it this prompt, I get that and I can go right into the next thing. So what I've done is I've created a Word document. Again, with the help of ChatGPT. So here's my Word document. Uh, OK, so this is the 9Q Solutions Info. I've got my my I call it my prime. And then I have, this is all the information about 9Q that is relevant to our company. Now, currently there's a limit to how much information that it can take. So you'll see I've got section breaks. There's section two, then I come down and I load this in. So by doing this, I can go into chat GPT and I can say, um, Give me a quick summary. Oh, so it's already forgotten me. So this is something, this is really, this is really relevant and important. And, and here's one of the bugs. If you look over here, if you guys are currently using ChatGPT, generally it will create a chat history for you. So along the left-hand side, uh, every time you go in, depending on the project you're working for, you want to start a new chat. So you create a new chat and Again, this is this is kind of big picture. I have the paid version. You have to get the paid version. The paid version is 20 bucks. The reason why you have to get the paid version, if you're not, if you're using the free version, you'll be in the middle of a project and it'll say sorry and it will bounce you. Now you can see right here, I have access to ChatGPT4 and here's the older model, but look down here. There's a cap of 25 messages every three hours. So I, I get 25 answers of the super brain and then it sort of drops down to the less super brain. So you need to educate it and prompt it. So let me this. I'll show you guys this in real time. Uh, and it's not going to take very long. I come into here. So you guys saw it doesn't know who I am. But I'm going to give it my prompt. This is so much fun. Let's see if we get our magic dot dot. Boom, that means it understands me. So now I'm going to start feeding it some information. <laughs> and I go through section one. Now, for some reason, it might start to answer, and I'll show you what to do if that happens. 
most of this information I just pull from our website. You can pull things from any source that has information about you. I should get a dot dot. There we go. Beautiful. It, it's so funny because it's like a, it's almost like a child. Uh, sometimes it understands you and there will be times that it doesn't understand you. So I'm going to come down to section two. Here we go. So this is me in real time priming the world's smartest personal assistant. Dot dot. All right. Now let's give it our final section. So you're going to see it's going to take me 90 seconds to prime ChatGPT. And perfect. So um Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to come back to you guys. Who has a question about our company? What's something you want to know that would be fun? Type it in there. Somebody type a question about me or 9Q in the chat box, and, and, and we're going to see how good this assistant is at understanding me or us. I hope you guys are having fun. This this I, I sometimes feel like a... I describe myself as a baboon running around with a lighter. Just just would love to get more comfortable. Oh, that's somebody who's already in there. All right, come on. Who's got fast fingers? All right, we got love typing. We're going to go with loves. What will 9Q do for my company? Oh, okay, great. So, so here's where specificity comes in. I know that love has a brand new salon. Right. So what I'm going to do, and here's another, here's a hack. I am not the world's best typer. So I come into a Word doc and I dictate and I'd say, I own, I own a beautiful salon in Fresno. It has been recognized as the best in the Central Valley but I know that we can be better. What can 9Q Solutions do for us? Okay, so, oops, turn this off. I mean, this is, this is, this technology never existed before. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drop it in here. All right, let's take a little let's take a little chat break. <laughs> I don't have words. <laughs> do, like, do you guys understand that the, it didn't know who I was? Remember, it's like I don't know who William Poet is, and I took ninety seconds and I primed it, and I mean, love. I, I, you know, again, so it's rare that I'm speechless. This is the landscape that we're in right now. It's, it's, and, and so our challenge is to go, go back to that idea of zero to one, 
So, and, and here's what I share with my clients. Who do you want to be talking to? What's the expertise that you need? If you remember in my prompt, I say very specifically, let's go back and take a look at my prompt. And this is this is relevant to my work and my business, uh, 9Q Solutions prompt. I need you to deliver answers at the level of a Harvard professor. Now, in the exact discipline or disciplines needed to provide the most powerful output. What I had in there before was as a strategy, marketing, uh, organizational behavior. And, and I, I realized that I was limiting chat GPT. So who do I want to talk to? Now, the second thing is you've got to, in addition to this prompt, you need to create a chameleon. And um, if you guys, uh, I, so some of you guys are reading, how many of you guys have read the newsletter that I'm writing with ChatGPT on LinkedIn? Okay, so two episodes, two, uh, two editions ago, I gave three tips. Tip number one is clarity. So when, when Love asked, you know, what can you do for my business? Take time. The, the number one thing that you can do to get more benefit out of ChatGPT, open a Word doc and get really, really clear about what you want to know. So watch this. Now we're going to go into Love's, uh, Love's project using my 9Q expertise. I hope you guys are having fun. I, I can't tell, but like this is crazy. Um, all right, where is it? Uh, ba -ba. So Love has been working on her vision, mission, values. Let's find it. Open recent preen. Here we go. So um, Love, help me on this one. What do we want to learn to have improved um, based on what you've done so far, and here's the question you guys wanna learn how to ask yourself. What is the greatest value, highest level next step ChatGPT can help me take? So that's a pretty profound idea, but that's really the question. So love, um, I'm gonna think about, I'm, gonna, well, I'm just gonna turn on my dictate and, and I want you to articulate the question. Okay. okay. Well, hold on. So I have a question. So are we going to be prompting chat GPT on? Okay. So, I got, so, so yeah, I, I'm good. And again, this is, if you look at the technology, we're in a zoom, I'm going to have love talking to my computer and right. Yeah, you are going. So, so I'm going to give it all of this information that you have on this page, right? Okay. Now, we might just want to, I, you know, we might just want to critique. I Maybe we want to do something like this. Um, my goal is to franchise this company and have the most empowering vision, mission, value statement ever. How, give me six ideas on how you would make this better. So that, that, that was like one example of a prompt, right? But I want I okay. want you, I'm gonna so I'm gonna when I click on the mic, you're the voice. Okay. So all right. So what do you want to know? Okay, so oh uh, hold on. Go. Okay, so right as a Harvard business graduate with a Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you. No. You you don't have to I've already primed it. Okay. We're gonna use we're gonna drop your request right into what we've already got created. So so you okay. don't so just what just you're just gonna give it your what you want done. Okay. Um Prepare a vision statement okay. 
prepare six, I have to prepare three different vision statements um, based on the existing statement. I'm trying to say, I want it to be more um, elevated. It's your, we're going to have to do this again <laughs> while I gather my thoughts. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And, and so here, okay. So love, it doesn't have to be perfect. And, <laughs> and because it's a language model, just go ahead and in your own, you know, in your voice, just tell it what you want it to do. And it's, oh, what I want people to see is it's okay if it's not perfect. We, and we just want it to be clear. Okay. So okay. just give it a shot. Okay. Here we go. Prepare three different versions of a more elevated vision statement. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to, you want to say prepare, right? Yes. So we're going to give it this information and we're going to watch some real time magic happen. So love, while it's typing these out, let's give it, a, th these are really great, but I want them to feel more like you. So what is it, how, how do you want these, now that we've got kind of an, uh, we've got a first draft, how do you want them energetically improved? You, and, and this is like an emotion. Do you want them to be more fun? Do you want them to express more love or be more engaging? And this is where you can really challenge the creativity of, of ChatGPT to, to feel more like you. Mm -hmm. So I want it to, because this is a very high-end luxury salon, I want... I like the language that it's using in a couple of them, um, but it doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound like love. So exactly what you said for them to, for it to bring in more of my voice from, from love, I think I would like that better. All right, so that will take us to our, our next challenge. Um, when did I, uh, that's a really good question, Jason. Uh, the, the next thing that and I don't know if we can do this in real time, but the way what, what you want to do, love, is you want you've got to train it in your voice. So, um, OK, I, I, here's I'll show you how it works. Um, and once you guys understand how it works, I'm going to take a chapter from my book. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? Um, and, 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 you know, so a good thing is, is be recorded. You guys will get a copy of it. Uh, bum, bum. So, so the way you train it, uh, okay, now this is a problem. Is you get you, okay, uh, this is a book I wrote years ago. Uh, okay, so the, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the more information you give it, the smarter it gets, but I'm just gonna copy this one page i'm going to take it over to chat gpt and i'm going to go um what
So I'm just that that's the prompt, right? Put this in and William, every time you go in to start a new chat, do you have to teach it again how you write or what your voice, what your tone yes. is? Yes, and so, so, okay. so here, when you look at my, so, so every time I go into Chat GPT, that's a really good question. I, I never do anything, and I don't like to use the word never, but I will. I the, here's how I start every conversation with this. If I'm going to do an email, if I'm going to do a newsletter, if I'm going to do so, so I I say I, this is the voice that I want, and then look here, my writing tone and style, positivity, humor, focus on action, motivation, light heart. So 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 you, the number one, I mean the first thing. The, okay, so here's what you guys need to do. Number one, take a bunch of your writing, and the more variety, the better. Uh, an essay, an article, a love letter to your wife, a congratulation card to your kid. Feed it a bunch of information and then have it give you your writing style. Then you, <coughs> then you, so you create a document that holds your, and, and so every time I go in, the first thing I, so understanding, so again, if we go to ChatGPT and I start a new chat, um, Who's this guy? Mm -hmm. See, gone. So even so, so this is really, really important. And if I, whatever questions that I ask it, if I haven't primed it, I'm going to get a much more generic, low-level response. So first thing you do is you you create your avatar. It's not your avatar; it's your chameleon. So you go into chat GPT, load as much stuff as you can, right? Articles, newsletters, write a story. Now, here's what you can do. You can go into Word, if you're not a great typer, use the voice command and just tell a story. Tell your story. This is who I am. And, 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 and so I create my chameleon. Then the next thing you do is you create your your what i call it my prime I live on a ranch you just have to prime a pump okay don't just go into chat gpt and start asking the questions let chat gpt now the other thing that you can do which is really really cool so um i'm when when i had chat gpt do our marketing plan this is kind of wild chat gpt doesn't know anything about chat gpt's impact on the world right and so part of our marketing plan is on companies are scared and they need to leverage 9Q to build a bridge into this new reality. So I'll go online and I'll just Google a bunch of articles and I'll just copy them, paste them in, right? So, so and then all of a sudden chat, GP, so again, this is like kind of the mind blowing the mind up. I had to teach Chat ChatGPT about all the chaos and possibility that it's creating before I have a conversation with it. And here's what I, I lost a lot of work because normally, normally is weird. This is you know, a week ago, all of my chats were on this were saved on this this left hand side, and it does or it's supposed to remember everything that is created in a new chat. Well, they assert the server went down yesterday and everything got erased. Now, yeah. here's the other thing that we, I, I wanna take a moment and pause on. Um, it's, it, I need to be judicious in how much I lean on this tool. Because when technology gets disrupted and we don't have access to any internet for multiple days, my daughter is not going to know how to get anywhere. 
My daughter doesn't know what a Thomas guide is. My daughter doesn't know what a map is. So uh, if you rely, so, so it's really interesting. As we lean on these new technologies, it doesn't negate our responsibility to be very self-empowered individuals. Uh, you know, we're moving into a realm of, you know, automation and AI, right? Well, so you need to get to the gym. You can't, you know, there are there are young people who are going to plug into this technology. I mean, young people, America is now reached a 60% obesity rate. We it's essential that we maintain all of our competencies. Sidebar, I was a close quarter combat instructor 25 years ago, worked with our special operations team guys, still friends with a lot of special operations teams. Chances of a world war happening the way we think of them is very, very slim. Chances of a cyber war happening in the next 18 months is super, super high. So all of you need to be prepared to have no access to anything digital for at least two weeks. So let that sit for a little bit, because I know a whole lot of people who never have any gas in their car and they don't keep any cash with them and they don't have any food. And when it shuts down, how do we access those things? How do we how do we get how do we get those basic core? So I'm sitting on a ranch with no power. I've got generators. I've got propane stoves. I had a nice hot cup of coffee this morning because I know how to take advantage of this. <laughs> Jason's laughing. I got to have my coffee, people. I got to have my coffee. Um, right. So it, again, it's this is great technology. But if you have a report due tomorrow and it goes down and your report's got to be due tomorrow, you got to be able to do old school. So. What I want to do is I want to take a little break. I want to do some Q&A and then I want to take you guys into mid journey because mid journey is the other side of AI that is insane. So uh, thoughts, impressions, questions, insights from what we've done in this hour, this action packed AI hour. I mean, just the and playing around, just the playing around I did with it, you know, the past couple of days, it's, it's, it's tricky. Like, you know, you find a version of something that you really like, and then I'll try to adjust it and, and tweak it. And, and I like certain parts of it and there's parts I don't like, and I'll try and I was trying to redo things and it would just completely get rid of that one. And I couldn't find it again to get those sweet spots that I liked. So it's just making it tricky without having the history there. I don't know if that's something that's going to get fixed soon or, or what, but or it, get, it'll get you know, better, better, but, but. Hundred percent. Um, take everything. Everything you create, move it instantly into a word file. Right, right, right. And then bring it back. I got in a fight with it today because I was, you know, the other thing that will happen is, like, it it wouldn't print out my entire ninety day plan. My fourth is so so it did an outline. Then when I asked it to create it with tasks and tables, <clears throat> it would only do about. 30% that it would freeze. And I would say continue because that's the prompt to get it going again, but it would continue with a totally new format. It was driving me crazy and I couldn't. So, so what I had to do was I had to say, okay, let's do this one phase at a time. And then I would give it prompts and then I, then I could copy and share great format like this for the next one. So it, it definitely is bumpy and I want you to you know, lean on me, leverage me, because I've spent hundreds of hours doing this. And, and here's the thing. You don't want to spend too much time learning the prompting because with every new iteration, it gets easier and easier. And the iterations are going to be happening faster and faster, if that makes sense. But what I want all of you guys to commit to, if you're going to use this, is take a half hour, teach it learn have it learn your writing style and then create your prime and any relevant information it needs to know about you and your company right your whatever history so when you have that document you are it it, it exponentially increases the impact and the results you get so i just drop it in i prime it and i'm good to go prime in the pump yep any other thoughts or questions about, or, or are you guys ready to just jump right into the mid journey? Oh. 
I'm sure there are more questions. Okay, so so Robert, how is this? Is this resonating with you? I know this is kind of your first foray in here. Um, yes, it does. I think it's uh, it's great. I mean, you trained my daughter Lisa, so Lisa kind of gave me a heads up as to what to expect, and uh, I think uh, you met all my expectations. Awesome. So here's uh, again, kind of this is AI in real world. So. I'm gonna take you guys into LinkedIn. And, and again, I say it's just so mind blowing. So I wanted to um I wanted to I wanted to have a real world application of 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 this technology. So I decided to create a, a newsletter, which some of you guys are following. So and this was all done in in, in the shortest amount of time possible. So I came in here, where's my newsletter? Okay, 9Q Accelerator. So the graphic, the art, all of these things, I've done like four editions, um, but this one was really, really fun. So what I did is, is I did an experiment because normally what I will do is I'll ask AI for something, it'll get really close and then I'll pull it and I'll massage it. And, and the other thing I do is, is now, Anytime I write a letter, an email, or an important text, I'll write it out. I'll give it to ChatGPT. Say, how can I improve it? So I'm I'm, I'm always co-creating with it. But in this exercise, I did an experiment. So I went into Word, and here's my prompt. Just just read these, you know, this kind of opening section. So I had primed it. I had given it copies of my two previous newsletters because it wouldn't remember them. And it wrote this newsletter. And what's really, really cool, and we, you don't need to read the whole newsletter, is this is something Laura and I want to do. We did the JMT last year. We're looking for tracks. I love Japan. I was in Kyoto two years ago. I, I just love Japan. This, uh, this route here, I'm super thrilled by, and I I didn't I knew about three of these, so it writes this for me. But now we're gonna go to next level of mind blowing. So what I did, let's go into Mid Journey. Uh, where's Mid Journey? Here's Mid Journey. Oh, this is your classroom in the future, guys, just in case you didn't, you were una, you're unaware of that. Um, I went into mid up, Scotty. Say again? Beam me up, Scotty. Yep, this is this is where we're going to be learning. I went into mid journey. And so mid journey is a uh, I, I don't even I can't even explain the technology of it. Um, but it is a it is a it is a visual. It's a graphic generator. It's a text to graphic generator. So what I did is, uh, I think I've got the photo saved here somewhere. Where are my pictures? I took, now Now watch this. You got to wrap your head around what is happening here because it really is unbelievable. Uh, I, I took the description, just lit some, some chat GPT wrote this description of this track. So I went into mid journey and I just entered it. Didn't give it any priming, any prompting, anything. This is what Mid Journey created. Here's the Machu Picchu Trail. Here's the trail in Japan. This is the one on the Amalfi Coast. I, I just like. I have a client that's an author and, and I was working with her in mid journey and she started crying. And and she's really successful. TV shows, books, everything. She was crying because she's working on a movie 
and she's never been able to give life to her characters. She has to hire an artist. She has to try to describe what's in her brain to them. And then they have to have the right skill sets to bring what's in her brain to creation. That doesn't exist anymore. Let me let me show you guys, and then we'll, they're gonna play around a little bit in this, and we're gonna wrap it up with some Q&A. So let's see what's happening in, I'm gonna, these are some creations. So just look at, these are just average individuals, dreams, visions, ideas that were created in in 60 seconds with this tool does it show you what they prompted yes excellent so what you can do and this is really how you learn love tell me let's tell me a picture you like i'll just go slow and you say stop Go back up. There was one of a woman. Oh, that no, I'm sorry. Go down below the woman in the blue dress. Go down a little further. The one with the blue and pink makeup. Got it. So what you're doing here, this is you, you, we're going to come in. We're going to take her, this command. I'm going to take the full command. I'm going to drop over into where I create. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to go backslash imagine. This is the command. And let's see what we get. So we're going to get the first generation of this. That artist probably did a couple iterations. But this, this is, again, it's like I, I, I've gone, I'm out of control in here. You can put down anything, uh, uh, a monkey riding a unicorn down a rainbow. Like it, there's no thing you can't ask for. Let's see what we get. In the age of AI, your imagination and creativity can be completely unleashed. And that's the most exciting thing in the world. The scary part is our imaginations have gone somewhat dormant in the last 50 years because it was just, you know, education has been memorized, regurgitate, memorize, regurgitate, don't do it wrong, sit, don't draw outside the lines. Well, we're going into a whole new ball game and watch what's really cool is as it evolves, it's like, woo -woo, and then all of a sudden it just goes boom and something amazing pops up and it's almost always different. So those images that are on in the chat right there. That's not what it's actually going to give us. Those are what it's using to create something. You mean these right here? Yeah. Is that what it's coming up with? Yeah. So this is what it's coming up with. So okay. now what you can learn to do, because these are these are pretty different than what you what, what you liked, right? Right. Every time you go in, it's going to give you a different iteration. And so you have to learn like you, you there are art styles. You can say do this in this style. Uh, I did something for the red piano, which was super fun. Um, uh, what's the next event you guys have at the red piano, boys? Uh, Easter's coming up. Easter, yeah. Oh, okay, so let's try something fun there. But you could do a uh, bachelorette party for this weekend if you want. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Uh, stop. Bachelorette party. Oops. Bachelorette party. At the red piano. A beautiful 1920s speakeasy. 
that features live music, an incredible ambiance, red, vintage photographs, and fun people. Okay, so again, this is this is kind of the magic of creation. I have no idea what we're gonna get, but it'll be super fun to find out. So I'm gonna drop in here. We're gonna do backslash imagine. Okay, now this is a little technique. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't give it the right version. So we're, I want a landscape. So I'm gonna go dash dash. This is about the only thing you need to know. Landscape, so AR is aspect ratio, 16, nine, that gives you landscape. And I want the newest version, dash, dash, version space five. And let's see what we get. How do you know what version to tell it? So version five is the newest. And and version, so so I just, I just almost always have it do version five. Gotcha. And so, so here's what I want you guys thinking about, especially you guys with businesses. Once I prime it, I can, I can, I tell it about myself. I tell it about my company and our goals. I say, I want you to create a 30 day social media campaign. And in it, I want every post to embody magical moments in our salon or what, or in our bar and create a description of a visual description for every social media post, right? So you could go in and you can tell ChatGPT to, and it'll, it'll take a little time, it might take an hour to get exactly what you want, but then it will deliver 30 social media posts, the content and a visual, and then you can come in here and you can have ChatGPT create totally unique. And as you get more, what, what, what you will learn to do is you're gonna just the way you prime uh, Chat GPT, you can prime. You can actually take an image. You can take a photograph of the red piano, and you can put it in there, and you can you can have that photograph show up as the foundational component of everything that you do. And let's see what we came up with. And and again, what I want you guys to understand is this wasn't an advanced prompt. I didn't. There was no thought given to this. I just. So, I mean, it's pretty cool graphically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can really, you can really have fun. And again, you know, it, it's the more time you play in it, the, the, the more, the more power you have. So I want to end my share. We've got about 14 minutes left. Um, and now let's do some Q and A it, it's, and, and so let me share kind of conceptually what's happening right now. We've got text to chat. That's the language model where you go in for all your data and information. We have mid journey, which is the, is the graphics generator, text to graphics. There is a voice AI, and this is wild. I was on a radio show on Monday where I got interviewed and I'm friends with the host. I was on the show every day for a year, years ago. He had an AI version of himself asked me an interview question. So he's like, okay, hold on everybody. He pushes the button. The AI of Adam Montiel asked me this question and it sounds exactly like Adam Montiel is asking me the question, right? So where, where's the next iteration of this going? Well, there's, there, we're now getting text to video. Here's my prediction. And and I, I celebrate with our team members at the end of the year, all the amazing things that happen and, and more amazing things are gonna happen this year than ever before. We're gonna celebrate New Year's Eve with a video shot from the top of Mount Everest of Lara and I talking about all the amazing accomplishments of our 9Q team and family. And you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna go, holy, that's William and Lara on top of Mount Everest. But of course, we're not gonna be on top of Mount Everest. It's not gonna be us. And it's not, I, I, so, so here's my vision. I'm going, and by that time, I'm sure I can just talk to it. I'm going to give 
the next generation of AI a prompt that I want a video message shot from here of us celebrating this. And I'm going to, oh, and I want it deployed instantly to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn uh, at midnight on New Year's Eve. And then I'm going to go for a run or a bike ride or a horseback ride, and it will be done. Right now you can do it, but you got to be really smart and you have to kind of piece together all these pieces. It, 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 it's the, the technology is happening so quickly. And, and this is kind of going back to the initial conversation, the scary, exciting part. The only limitation to the speed at which AI is iterating are the human coders. But the human coders are now leveraging AI. And since AI can now code in a very, very short period of time, AI will be coding itself. And then the other limiting factor is the old computer technology of X's and O's was built on a corrupt frame. We now have quantum computing, which instead of the limits of a bi a biometric or, or, or uh, my brain's gone, but a system of X's and O's, quantum computing is limitless. So imagine a brain a thousand times smarter than us with access to a limitless computer, cancer will be cured. All these other issues are gonna go away. And there could be some foreseeable challenges that we aren't prepared for. So that's kind of my, my overview. We've got 10 minutes. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, questions, thoughts, anything. I'm yours, Work. we can share with each other. Technical question on chat GPT. Uh, when I copy and paste to Google Docs, uh, it leaves a ba black background on the text. You don't see that with Word, do you? No. Okay. And what you might want to do is uh, it, it, when you go into Word, it gives you an option to, on the little clipboard, you can save the source formatting, go to current formatting, or, or just save as text. I always just save as text. I'll and whenever I, out. yeah, whenever I steal, uh, whenever I take a, an, it, like an, it, like I go to take a news story, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll scan the whole news story. I'll take it to Word, say text only, and that gets out all the links and all the photographs. Then I take the text and I drop it into chat GPT. So that just makes things clearer and quicker. So that's a great question. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Anybody else? Question for Mid Journey. So Yo. when you got four different uh, pictures popping up, right? I like two yeah. of them, two of them I don't like. How do I pick those two and then evolve those? Awesome. So let's jump in real quick. And extension on that question. What do all those other little buttons mean? Uh, okay, so, so here's what we got. Uh, which version do you like? I'm thinking the top left, which is, I guess, V1, right? So it's V1, yeah. V2, V3, V4. No, no, no. So yeah, yeah. So so you so V1. If I hit V1, what it's going to do is it's going to create iterations uh, of that that specific photograph. The U's are when I find the one that I want, I'm going to upscale it. Okay. Okay. So. This so I mean, the 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 top left is the best one I think out of all of them, just because it's got girls in it with it. You yeah. Know. And and that you know so and when you when you're prompting it you know you see the bachelor party it doesn't we don't we didn't give it enough information um, you know a uh, uh, a party of twenty women celebrating uh, at the red piano which is it also made of nineteen twenties people now that could be fun for some things but for others I might want modern women at the red piano right so that that's just stuff that you play with but really really good question. Any other, um, so I mean, that, that, so you, and, and the other thing you do is like, if you don't really like what it gave you, this little button right here is just re-roll. Okay. And if you, you, if you hit re-roll, it's telling you, ah, you didn't quite, you didn't quite nail it. Let's, uh, let's come back and do something else. Those 25 versions you get are just on a daily basis. Uh, you, are you, which, which are you talking about? So you said, uh, on version four or five that you're oh. on. 
Chad okay, so that's prize. that's every you get twenty five, you get twenty five questions of the super super brain every three hours. Okay, and then it, it but but you know, and again the the fun thing is, I really like the super brain. It's a little slower in execution, but it's also I like what it produces better. So I don't waste my quest. I spend more time in Word, getting clear and dropping my questions in, whereas it's really easy to just get in a conversation and burn them out before you've accomplished anything. I was going to say, what are you doing with the rest of your two and a half hours? <laughs> oh, you, you can get lost in here. Um, <laughs> hey, Laura, I, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I, I know you're a librarian. I know you're, you access information knowledge all the time. Is there one idea or tool that you got from today that you're excited about? She might have got pulled away with work. I'm not sure she is. Sorry, I am here. I, I went, ooh, there was lots I was excited about and kind of commenting on um, in and out. Uh, I, I was just really, really intrigued how you showed us how to personalize it instead of like, I was playing around with the, the last 24 hours since Colin told me about this and um, how to personalize our, those documents and those questions more um, to be uh, more intentional about what we ask it to do. I was amazed how you told us how to use our own voice. So I don't know. Yeah, I was a little bit in and out, but I think I caught most of it. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm going to go home and play for a while tonight while I should be doing other things. Well, I, you know, I, thank you, Laura. It's really great to be here. And, and Colin, thank you for inviting her. Um, I, I can't emphasize. I, so, so I've spent my entire life pursuing education. I, I was raised by a teacher. Well, let me qualify that. I was an idiot in college, um, so I, I didn't do that in college. But post college, um, I have been aggressively studying, learning, traveling around the world, meeting, working with the smartest people on earth. And there, I don't believe this year, you know, other than your foundational, you got to hit the gym, have fun, take care of your family, do lots of joyful things. When you have some free time. And there's no such thing as free time. When you have some precious time, get into this program and and go online. There are amazing. I'm when I'm in YouTube, I'm either looking at ChatGPT tutorials or Midjourney tutorials, or sort of global all global conversations on AI on on where we're headed because it's it's fun, it's exciting. And the change is happening so fast that there we're on version five of mid journey, which is way better than four. And they're saying version six is going to come out next month. So it's the momentum is building on itself. Um, love you guys. I think I got time for maybe one more question, thought or share. Uh, I'm going to get you guys copies of this. Um, I'm going to be sharing this. I'm, I'm passionate. I want to help people, anyone who is ignoring this. If you have a company or a group that you would like me to do a training for, I will do it. I'll make it ridiculously affordable. I, this is a mission for me and it's it's critical. I don't want people to suffer because they missed this boat. Is there a better version of Midjourney? A better version? Yeah, there, are, there are some, there's Dolly and some other ones. From the research that I found, Midjourney seems to be the the most user friendly and the most popular. Now, is there a subscription type one like? Oh there? yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, both of. Them. And honestly, it's I think they're both like twenty bucks. Right. And right. you know, do it. Like, there's no right. like a cup of coffee and a burger is twenty bucks. Okay. And you know, it's uh, you get the two thousand dollar an hour attorney versus the two hundred dollar an hour attorney. Right. Right. But right. remember, when you go in, start with the highest strategic work first. Bring in your mastermind group. I've got the head of Warden, Stanford, UCLA, and MIT available to me. And I'm not going to bring them in a room and have them help me fix my sink. Right? So, so you can drill down. So, so what I'm going to do now with my 90-day plan is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to say, give me the content. Let, let's so in each one of those tasks, you know, it's it produce a video. The tact, we're going to write the video scripts. 
we're going to do all the chat GPT and I are going to do all those things. It's going to do all the heavy lifting for me, right? But before I went in and said, make a video, let's do a video script. I need the high level strategic complete marketing plan. So, so when you go into chat GPT, think highest level. And then here's the flip side of it. Do something random and fun. Can you teach me French? Can you plan the world's most romantic dinner for me? Tell me a cowboy joke. Like, because I, I want you to stretch and expand how you can see and play with it. Mm -hmm. it. So that, that's it. We're at the end. Uh, you guys are awesome. To my 9Q team, I, I love the fact that not only are you doing your 9Q training, but you guys are doing more. I'm, I'm so proud of you. We're on a mission, uh, and this is going to be the best year ever, guys. So strap in, put on a helmet, because it's a wild ride. Have fun. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a maybe five-week boot camp where I'm, I'm like doing specific AI training for people uh, and, and you know more deep dive project based. Don't know what's gonna happen because it's happening so fast. Love you guys. Thank you for your time and energy. Sure, uh, if you loved what we did, share it, uh, you know, pass it on, right? Cause this, is, this isn't something that we wanna keep to ourselves. We wanna get this out. So thank you guys. Be awesome. Cool. Thank you all. Thank you. All right, ciao. Bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Thank you.